All right, well, good morning to you. What we're gonna do today is uh, teach you a little bit about bass fishing, right? And uh, I'm Jay and this is Jay's Bass Fishing Show. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna talk first about the kind of gear you need to use. All right, so first and foremost, got this here spin cast reel. Now, I don't typically like to use this one, but it's very sensitive and you can feel the bass when they hit. <laughs> you know, that's pretty important so you can set that hook. All right, so that's your spin cast. Now, let's see what we got else here. This here is called a bait cast. Now, this is my primary go-to bass getting kind of get up here. So, uh, yep, that there is, uh, that's the prime weapon. All right. Now. You got your gear. This here, what I'm sitting in. This here called a puddle jumper, a little boat. Uh, you have your little trolling motor, so forth, so on. You got a couple seats. You and your buddy can go drink some beer, do some fishing. That's what we like to do around here. All right. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna step out here and I'm gonna show you how we gonna tie us a good fisherman knot. So you gotta you gotta take your string and then you gotta get you one of them. Them little jig getting things uh, and I like them little rubber fishies like that. that that really gets them right there we're gonna show you that here in just a little while so hold on just a second here and uh, I'm gonna show you how to tie this knot well, all right now so here's your little little jig jig and bob as some of us call it around here got a little eyelet and what you're gonna do is you're gonna feed that that there line right through that hole and then once you get her in there you're gonna you're gonna basically have it like that. Then you're gonna twist it. So you just give her a few good twists around and then you're gonna feed that eye like you're threading a needle pretty much. And you're gonna just put it right through the hole, get a good grip on it. And then you're gonna pull it tight. Now that's not all you gotta do. She ain't on there good enough bass pull that right off cause bass are fierce anyway. We're going to go on and loop it around a couple more times. All right. One more for good measure. Make sure because we don't want it to break and get off. You, you get that big one on, you won't go on, want to hold on to it. All right. Now, us rednecks, instead of a pocket knife, sometimes what we do, we just take our teeth like that right there. Bite it off a little tip. And there you go. You got your jig on there. So ain't but one thing left to do. And we're going to head down and go fishing. gonna try to give us give us a shot see what we can't catch Right there, ladies and gents, is how it's done. That's called bass fishing. He on there good, he ain't getting off, but I tell you what, it's gonna be a doozy getting this out of his here gills without getting a hook in my finger. Bass Fishing 101. All right, go on back out there, Big Daddy. Well, all right. So today's show, I showed you exactly what you need to do to go out and catch a bass of your own. So from one redneck to everybody else, it could be done. I'm not a professional, 
but I make it look good. Today's episode was brought to you by Anderson's Nightcrawlers. The Nightcrawlers that get the fish. Well, that's it for today's episode of Fishing with Jay. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I know I sure did. Hope you learned a few things. Bass fishing, it's enjoyable, nice and peaceful. Helps you get away from everything. You might not ever be as good as me, but get out there and see if you don't enjoy it yourself. All right, until next time, have a good day. Get the lines wet.